Hello, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com and today we are starting a new video series. It's going to be about WooCommerce and specifically it's going to be about making themes for WooCommerce. So if you don't know what WooCommerce is, it's a plugin. It's actually the best plugin out there for WordPress to make your WordPress site into an e-commerce site so that you can sell stuff online. So in this video series, I'm not going to be talking uh, in much detail about WooCommerce and how you can use it. Of course, we are going to be using it because we need it. Uh, but we are going to uh, focus on making a theme for our WooCommerce installation of WordPress. Uh, to follow up with this series, uh, you should at least know some HTML, some CSS, maybe a little bit of JavaScript or jQuery and that's it. So this is not a beginner series. Uh, I am not going to show you every little thing how it's done. Uh, also you would need to have an installation of WordPress on your machine. It can be a clean installation like I have, it can be an already existing site, it doesn't matter. And we are going to install Olympus theme on it which I'm going to show you uh, in this video how you can do. Uh, if you want, you don't have to have Olympus theme, you can have your own custom theme or some other starter theme, it doesn't matter. So I think that's about it for this introduction. In this video we are going to be installing Olympus theme and then we are going to install WooCommerce and set up everything so that we can actually start theming our WooCommerce site. Okay, so I'm first I'm going to go to the Olympus theme github repository. It's my own theme and I talked a lot about it in the previous videos. Uh, we used it for almost every series, even if it is WordPress theme. Uh, you can use parts of it on Drupal, uh, we used it on the movies app that we created with Vue.js and so on. So I'm just going to download this theme. Uh, of course if you want to check out a little bit more about Olympus Team and how it works and so on. Uh, there will be a link to the video uh, that explains everything about this theme, but it's essentially an empty theme without stylings, without anything, so nothing is going to get in our way when we theme uh, our Woo WooCommerce site. So I'm just going to download this zip file and as you can see my a WooCommerce directory where WordPress is installed is called just Woo. So I'm just going to create a new folder right here and I'm going to call it Assets. I always like to create Assets folder uh, in my project folder and then I put all the stuff uh, <coughs> that I need for that particular site. So I'm just going to save Olympus theme in there. Then I'm going to go to my forklift file manager. I'm going to go to assets, open up this Olympus theme, and I'm going to go to WP content themes, create Olympus folder right here. And then I'm just going to copy everything in it. After that, uh, when my theme is copied. I'm going to go to the root of my site. So right here. You can do this if you want. As I said, Olympus theme is completely optional. You can use some your own theme, starter theme, whatever you want. So uh, I'm just going to go to the root of my site on this left side and I'm just going to move gulp file JS there and package.json file there. Okay, remove them. I am going to go to uh, my actual directory where Woo theme is installed. So, CD public. So, I'm accessing this through Vagrant. Uh, as you can see, if I go right here and check out my site, my site name is woo.dev. So, if you want to learn how, to, how you can do this, uh, please check out my uh, Vagrant series and everything that is uh, this site is actually set up 
just like it would be in that series so check out that series if you wanna have a setup exactly like uh, this one so I'm just going to go to public woo so this is our uh, uh, I'm just going to make this fonts a little bit bigger Th so this is my WordPress installation and here I'm just going to run npm install actually sudo npm install and then we just wait a few minutes for everything to install so that our gulp file can work and so on okay so now that this is done we can just do uh, gulp watch and our gulp file should be watching our olympus.js files so it seems that i have something already in use let me just uh, check out of this i already had uh, live reload started on some other project that i forgot about so i just turned it off right now and if i run gulp watch right now we shouldn't get any errors okay uh, so what this does is actually creates uh, it has this gulp file right here and that gulp file can minify your images uh, it compiles your CSS, it uglifies your JavaScripts and so on but as, as I said this is completely optional step you can use pure CSS you don't have to use Gulp at all uh, I just like to do it this way and if you want to know more about this theme you can check out the Olympus theme video so uh, everything everything that is right here is going to be explained in that video so for now what is cool we have a live reload working so we can just turn it on and when we do some changes it will aut automatically refresh our page of course it's not going to happen right now because uh, we still didn't enable Olympus theme so I'm just going to go to appearance themes themes and then I'm going to uh, activate Olympus team activate it and right now if we go to our site we should get just this so welcome to Olympus team you can delete this text in index.php let's check uh, check out if live reload is working so I'm going to do, go to WP content themes Olympus and then I'm going to go to this CSS folder and in CSS folder I have globals.scss and I have this body right here I'm just going to <coughs> write something like background just as you can see it automatically refreshed the page and the background of the page is now uh, black and if I do FFF it's automatically white so as you can see it works pretty fast next thing we need to do is go to our uh, WordPress dashboard go to plugins add new and then we install WooCommerce so you just search for that uh, plugin of course you can download it and then just put it into your uploads folder and I'm just going to click install now and wait for it to download so that WooCommerce now is downloaded it's version 2.5.1 uh, we just activate the plugin and when you activate uh, this plugin you get this actual setup wizard uh, you don't have to go through it if you don't want to but let's just click let's go and see what it has to offer us so the page setup your store needs a few essential pages the following will be created automatically if they don't already exist so you have to have shop page card page checkout page my account page okay uh, let's click continue so we have store local setup I'm just going to leave this as Croatia uh, let's see euro so we are going to be selling in euros you can 
use dollars or whatever you want currency position uh, let's just leave this as it is so which unit uh, should be used for product weights I'm going to leave kilos but you can choose grams LBS OZ whatever you want and I'm just going to for dimensions leave centimeters and then we have our shipping and tax setup uh, I'm also just going to leave this as it is and then we have payments uh, I'm going to enable payments with cash on delivery uh, for now so let's do continue and your store is ready I uh, want to help uh, you can <coughs> click this to send WooCommerce some information about the usage if you want and the next step should be create your first product uh, or what some videos and so on uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to return to the WordPress dashboard okay so that's it and now we have our WooCommerce installed so right now as you can see our theme doesn't support WooCommerce but we're going to fix that in just a second I just want to show you if we go to pages and all pages uh, as you can see we now have cart checkout my account and sample page which came with WordPress and then you have this shop page okay so what we need to do now is we actually need to create WooCommerce.php page uh, in their instructions or in the documentation for WooCommerce uh, they would say you would need to copy page.php rename it to WooCommerce and then put some code in it uh, but since I'm using Olympus theme I actually don't have page PHP so I'm just going to create a new file so I just do a new file and I'm going to call it WooCommerce.php okay and then I'm just going to call header on it so we're going to get the header and then we're going to get the footer so this is the easy way for you to set up uh, the, so that your team can work with WooCommerce you just create this file uh, in later videos I'm going to show you how you can do this with hooks so and then you just do this so WooCommerce uh, underscore content and these braces and that's it so this page is going to be used for every one of your uh, WooCommerce pages so the ones that I show you right here so cart checkout and so on and WooCommerce is going to display its own um, content right here so you would have a header for your theme footer for your theme and in between that you would have uh, this WooCommerce content so just save this and of course if we refresh this right now nothing happens but if we go let me just see so uh, shop so as you can see the permalink is woo.dev shop so I'm just going to do shop we get something from WooCommerce as we don't yet have any products it says no products were found matching your selection so if we did actually enter some products into our Woo WooCommerce shop uh, they would be listed right here okay so this is it for this video uh, thank you guys for watching uh, we will be continuing this series very soon uh, please like the video if you liked it subscribe to the channel all that good stuff you can follow me on Twitter or on Facebook I will have this theme that we are creating for WooCommerce available for you on github so please check the link in the description below and uh, I think that's it I'll see you in the next episode